Hey guys, it's May May, and tonight we will be making this together. Now, I had this in my head, and I thought, oh, that will be fun and easy, and I can put that together so quick. Well, after an entire day of doing measurements and making a template and doing instructions, now it is done, and so I can get it filmed for you. But I think it really is simple once you have the template and once you have all the good stuff to go. So the template's made, and it's available if you'd like it. And let me show you what it looks like. What I did was I went ahead and made a template for this project and I printed it on craft colored cardstock for the video because I've noticed when I put white down it kind of goes blurry and I wanted to be able to show you everything on the page. What you'll get with this template is all of the pieces you need to make the bunny card that we're going to make together in just a minute. And you'll also get this bow and this little bow piece. So if you want to put a different center in the middle. So if you're looking for a good bow template, there's that one. And then at the bottom of this page, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sentiments that you can get that come with this template that you get. Um, all together. Now this is $1.99 on my Etsy store. You get this template, full instructions, and you'll have this video and it'll be linked on your instruction sheet so you can refer to it if you need to. Now let me tell you, you do not have to purchase this template to make this card. This is what's important. A lot of times when I make things, people will ask me, you know, how could I do that or, you know, what, what could I use at home to make it? Well, this way I have a template out there and you'll be able to do it. But when I put this card together, there's going to be some measurements that I'm giving you. You're going to see some things that you'll be able to use, like you might have your Cricut where you can cut your ovals. You may even have a, something that you can go ahead and cut a bunny face with. You'll be able to do this if you look in your stash. But if you want a template to make it easier, you can get this template off my Etsy store. So whichever way you want to do it. Let me show you about these little guys right here. Now, these are like digital stamps. You've probably heard of that before where you get... Um, Basically, someone creates a stamp set and they sell them in a digital file. You print them onto cardstock and then you can cut them out and use them any way you want to use them. And that's what this is. So this is them on um, craft paper, which I love black on craft paper. I think it looks good to use the black ink on it. But I also did them on pale blue. And we'll go through what they say in just a second, but I want to show you. And this way I have all these little sentiments that I can cut into banners or I can adhere down like they are or I can use a punch on them and make them a shape, whatever I want to do. I have a couple in white because I used some on some other cards I did earlier with my play in. And then I have these in kind of a pinky red color. Aren't they cute? So you can turn these into, when you cut them away from your paper, you can turn these into sentiments. They say, have a hopping good day, happy Easter, have a magical birthday. So if you want to use this as a birthday card, you can. I'm all ears. If you got somebody that is going through a rough time and they need somebody to talk to, you're pulling my ear, which I thought was cute because when you open this, you actually pull his ears. <laughs> Ouch, because you pull his ears. This says, Hair Comes the Bunny. And this says, Abracadabra, in case you want to use that magic theme. And did you hear? Because he's all ears, right? Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way and we'll get started. These are the instructions that you'll get with this template. It's full instructions, step by step, and we're actually going to assemble it tonight using these instructions so you'll be able to see how they work. So I have my, my instructions to the side, and the first thing you want to do is cut out all the template pieces and trace them onto cardstock. So here's what you do. You're going to take this, and you're going to just cut out the pieces, okay? So I'm just going to start with like this hat brim piece, and I want to actually talk to you about how you cut them, okay? I'm going to show you how to get a nice smooth cut. So you've cut away one piece and we're going to cut it. When you cut a template or anything that is a circle, you don't want to move your scissors over and over and over. That's what gives you choppy edges. You want to take your scissors and make long smooth cuts and move the paper, not the scissors. Okay. So you'll put your scissors in as far as you can go and make long smooth cuts and move the paper so that the line is hitting the blade. Long, smooth cuts. This is how you're going to be sure you get some nice cuts. And once you get the hang of doing this, you can go really fast because you're just lining that line up with your blade. And it keeps you from getting very choppy edges. You can see how smooth that edge is. So go ahead and cut out all of your pieces. And I've already done that to save time. But you'll cut out all your pieces and we can move on. And once you have all your pieces cut out like this, um, or all your template is cut out, you'll notice that some of these will say cut to. This is the outer ear. So what you're going to do is when you trace this, you're going to trace it twice. 
And also, use this on the colored cardstock you want. I want white, a white bunny. So I'm going to trace this onto white cardstock. So I'll trace it once and then twice. And to make a suggestion, when you print this out and cut it, do it on some good heavy cardstock so that you'll have this pattern for, you know, to use over and over again. So cut this twice. This is the inner ear, and it says to cut to a vit, and I would probably use a pink or a purple or something like that, so you'll want to cut that on the cardstock you'll want for that and cut two. The eyes say cut two. This is the pupil, and you'll be able to tell that on your cut on your template when you get it. These are the teeth, so you can do them here. Your nose, you might want to do on pink, something like that. Cut two of face one, all right? This is the hat brim. You're gonna cut face two only one time. It does not tell you to cut it twice because you only need it once. So unless the pattern piece says to cut it twice, don't cut it twice. Now this bow, you can cut it out of any kind of cardstock you want, but if you'd like to make a different center, I went ahead and made this little piece so you could change the center up if you wanted to. So cut, uh, trace your pieces, cut them out, and we'll assemble. Now in your instructions, you'll find that the number two says, cut out a three and a half inch by six inch rectangle for the hat body. So I'm gonna do that. So three and a half inches wide. By six inches long. So this becomes the body of the hat. Okay, then it also says to cut out your card insert at two and a half inches by three and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece at two and a half inches. And then by three and a quarter. Pretty. Now I'm going to put these aside because step four, which is where we are because we did our template, We've done our step two and three. Now step four says to assemble the bunny, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so these are my bunny pieces, and we're gonna assemble the face first. Now your instructions say, assemble the bunny face, start with the eyes, so here are my two whites of the eyes, and it says to adhere the pupils, which are here, to your eyes. Now you can do that. These are two small pupils, and you do get these in your kit, so you can, you know, you get the template. But I'm going to draw on them. I think that'll be cute. So I'm going to use a marker. Just want to show you that if you don't want to cut out tiny circles, you don't have to. You can just draw the eyes in. I'm going to make these little half moon shapes. And just color them. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to leave a little white in the pupil. I think that really brings the bunny to life. So see that little bit of white that I left? I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Now you could put glossy accents on your black pieces when you cut them out or something like that to kind of get the same effect. Cute. Okay, so look at my eyes looking at me. <laughs> Okay, so my eyes are together. The next thing it says is to adhere the eyes to the back of face piece number two. This is face piece number two. So we want to adhere these down to this back side. Now I'm going to use ATG for the purpose of this tutorial just to make things go quicker, but if you want to use a wet glue, that would make perfect sense. Some Tombow or something like that. So now we have our eyes down. The instructions tell you to make sure that your pupils are slightly behind face piece number two. And the reason is, you want it to look kind of like they're sitting on the little nuzzle or the little nose piece of the bunny. Then you're going to hear your teeth to the back. Now if you notice, when you cut your teeth out, they just kind of look like this. Your pattern has a line down the middle. So I'm going to put that line down the center. And I did this so you wouldn't have to cut out two tiny fiddly teeth. So that way you can just cut out the one piece and not have to fiddle. Okay, so now these we're going to adhere to the back of this face, which I stuck down to my mat board. <laughs> we're going to adhere these to our face. Now you decide how long you want your teeth. You might want really bucked teeth or slightly bucked teeth. I'm going to do mine about like that. Okay. And the last thing you'll do to the face is adhere the nose to the front. So 
So I'll just line it up. One thing I noticed when I was fitting him together, it looks better to have a little white showing above his nose. It kind of gives it a little 3D effect. So when you're putting it together, kind of slide that nose down a little bit. And now we're done with this portion of the face. But before I move on, I want to do some inking to the pieces because I think that'll make them look really, really good. So I have this London Fog Gray and this ink blending tool that doesn't have a very dark color on it. I'm going to do a little bit of inking around the pieces, not a lot. Just enough to give it a little bit of color. You may not even be able to see it in the camera. And I'm going to go around and ink all the pieces up. Okay, so now that I have all the pieces inked, now I'm going to take this little nose piece here and attach it to the face. Now, you can pop this up on dimensionals if you like that look. I do. You don't have to. So in the tutorial or in the instructions, you won't see to pop this up. But if you'd like to, go ahead. I'm going to do that. Isn't that cute? Now you can have the eyes stick up off the face or you can have the teeth poke down. Either way you want. It's your bunny, so you can decorate it. Next, I'm going to put... Oh, let's go to the instructions. <laughs> Number five is to adhere face two, which is this, with um, two face one, okay? So you're going to adhere these two together. Now let's move on to number six. You're going to adhere the ears to the back of the face. So here's what you do with that. You'll take your pink pieces or whatever color for your inner ear that you chose and adhere these down. And I'm going to put these right in here, just about like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I've got those. And now I'm going to bring this piece back over. And I'm going to run just a little bit of adhesive along the bottom of these ears. And now I'm going to lay them kind of like I want them. I want one ear a little taller than the other to make it kind of look like it's bent. And then I'm going to sit this guy on here. Might bring this one down a little bit more. Something like that. Isn't that cute? I just love this bunny. He's so cute. Okay, I'm going to move him aside for now. Now we're going to work on our card base. Number seven says, using your scoreboard, score your card base in half. Okay, so you're going to put it in your score scoreboard at the six inch side and score at three inches. Just like that. Okay, and then just fold it over and score it. Now, this is a brown one, and I did that because I'm going to be making a bunny with a different color in a minute, but I'm going to use my black one that I cut out earlier for the tutorial, so I'm going to move this one out of the way. So here's the black one. Now, with the fold at the bottom, you're going to open this up, and we're going to run adhesive down this side and this side of the black piece. Remember, the fold goes at the bottom. Now, I would recommend using a wet adhesive here because you're going to be sliding your card insert into it and you want to make sure it'll move. So now you're just going to fold this back up and seal those edges down, making sure that your opening is at the top. Next, we're going to add our hat brim. And this is just a piece from your um, template. This is what I was showing you how I cut in the first place. And notice I traced this in white on my black paper, so I want to make sure I put that on the bottom. Now with this, we're just going to kind of center it. I'm going to kind of use my cutting mat here to help me center it. We're just going to press that into place. So now we have our hat brim. And I like to fold it up a little bit so you can see it good. Okay, next step is to take our insert and put it into the slot we made and press it all the way down. And the reason you want to do this is because you want to leave that little bit exposed there. Okay? On that little piece, you will run some adhesive. Just like that. Next step. You want to take the envelope that you plan to use and place it down on uh, underneath your card base. This is an A2 size envelope and I'm going to put my card bottom at the bottom of the envelope. This way, when I put my bunny head on, I know my ears will fit into the envelope. See how I've got some clearance? 
And at this point, you just want to press him down to that adhesive. You can move this out of the way now because we don't need it. And you want to press him down to his little slider. And then the last thing is going to be to adhere this to the back to cover up our workings. This is the reason you cut two pieces of this. I just think it looks neater to kind of close that up. So now from the back you have a neat finish. So that's how he sits. And now I want to put a sentiment here. Now because I don't send out a lot of Easter cards, I'm going to use the magic sentiments. I'm going to go with Abracadabra and Have a Magical Birthday. I'm going to turn these into banner shapes. I'm just going to use my scissors and trim this down a little bit. And then to make a banner shape, you're going to take your scissors, cut up into the center, then match your corner to your slice, like so, and then corner to your slice, and that gets you a perfect banner shape. Now on this one, I decided to cut it down much closer, because what I'm going to do is put it here at the bottom. You could pop this up because you've already got some dimension on the front if you'd like. But I'm just going to run it right here. Just like that. And then I'm going to pull this guy out and put have a magical birthday here. And I'm going to put it up a little bit high so I can sign it. Perfect. Okay, before I put him away, I want to show you one more thing that I think really makes this cute. Now, this is not in your instructions either, but I think it's really cute if you take a white pen and you just do some dash lines because this black is so black and it just kind of needs something to make it pop. Just like that. And I'm also going to do it around the hat brim. A tip for making good dash lines, plant your hand on your work surface, move your pen to the spot, and move your fingers using this as a pivot, okay? So you're not shaking. It gives you something to brace on. It helps even when you get in an awkward position like that one. Okay, so there's stitches on that one. I also want to do stitches on all the pink. Now if you have a black pen, a fine tip black pen, don't be afraid to do stitch lines in different colors. This just really makes the card pop. It just shows the workmanship. You can also add freckle spots. And if you wanted to, you could add some really cute little whiskers. Okay guys, so there he is all finished. How cute is that? I say he. I guess it could be a she. Oh, it can be a she because you have the bow. Hold on. I almost forgot. If you want to make it a she, you have this little bow that you can put up here in his or, or in her little ears right there if you want to use that. So that's what the bow was for. I didn't put it on this one. Um, but how cute is that? And I want to show you the inside. That's where we did all the stitching and we did some here and then added little whiskers. I think it's super cute. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, you do not have to purchase the template to be able to use this. Now that you've seen me put it together, maybe you can put this together without the template. But if you need it, it's at my Etsy store. It's $1.99. You get the PDF template, you get the sentiments, and you get a full sheet of instructions plus this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on Monday for uh, Mondays with May. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.